that I put in today's video, I'm, I'm going to be, um, I guess, kind of talking about the, uh, the 10th anniversary of the Star Wars Expanded Universe becoming the Legends and why it should continue. So, if you like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more videos like this and other videos. and it was no longer considered canon. The books were given the Yellow Legends banner, and they no longer published new books, comics, video games, etc. And the new Disney canon replaced the expanded universe as the for books and games and all that. So I'm going to go over a couple of things that I really like about the EU. So first things is that it fleshes out characters and planets and storylines and it dives deeper into the universe of Star Wars. The whole, you know, the movies are, there. you know, the movies can only do so much. But a book and comics and, you know, we can expand the story and explore several planets more in depth or different characters and all that stuff, so... That's really fantastic. There are a variety of stories in the expanded universe. There's something for everyone. If you're a fan of if you're a fan of Jedi stuff, there's plenty of Jedi stories. If you if you're a fan of the Sith or want to learn more about the Sith, there are a few books that focus on the Sith. There's some bounty hunter stuff and you know, but and let's say you're a little more prefer like genre. Well, there's some horror, and you know there is a little bit of romance and action, and you know military stuff, and you know there's all sorts of stuff. Like if you're, you'll probably find some kind of story that you like in the expanded universe. It's fun to dive in and enjoy the journey of exploring the expanded universe. It's it's cool to read all these books or in comics and play the games and just explore this vast universe of story. It makes you a bigger Star Wars fan and yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. And now here are some uh, of my favorite things from the EU. So some books that I really like. Plagueis, Kenobi, uh, Rogue Squadron are some examples. Uh, as for video games, uh, Force Unleashed, Battlefront 2, and KOTOR. And for characters, you have Corrin Horn, Darth Bane, Dash Rendar, you know, but there's, you know, there's others. There's plenty. Those are just some examples of some of my favorites. And uh, why it should continue. Well, there are some unfinished stories or story arcs that I think should at the very least be resolved. Tell at least these stories that would finish off these storylines. I think that's that's nice. And, you know, some examples are like the uh, the Karen Travis Imperial Commando, finishing that series, you know, and getting stuff like Sword of the Jedi after, set after um, I believe Fate of the Jedi and, and some of those other books. So, those are just a few examples of some of like the unfinished stories, but there's a lot of stories to tell. And here are some things that I would want if the EU continued. Uh, obviously, first focus on the unreleased 
or rather the unresolved stories slash character arcs, and then any unreleased or canceled stories that did not get released for whatever reason. So like Escape from Dagu, like release those, you know, some of the, some of those books or comics or video games, you know, they're, they're probably close enough that with a little, you know, polish and work, you could send them out with relative ease. So, and then, yeah. And then one thing that I would like is uh, multi multimedia projects, you know, like the Clone Wars multimedia project, you know, you know, yeah, let, give it, pay, let's, I'll use this in as an example. Let's say you want to have a, an, a, another epic Old Republic story. So you, you find a gap where you have plenty of room in the Old Republic, which isn't hard. There's plenty of space. And you do the Old Republic multimedia project. So you do books, comics, uh, not video games, but maybe a video game or two, some short stories, maybe even some role-playing stuff. You know, just, yeah, like if you really want to, you know, you could do what Shadows of the Empire did and do a soundtrack. That's pretty cool. So I, those would be really cool to come back. And then this kind of goes along with that, but start new stories in different time periods. Yeah, like if there, because there are gaps where there are no stories. You know, if they were to bring this back, and this is all, you know, also going to coexist with the current Disney canon, meaning, you know, this isn't like, if the EU is brought back, they're not going to replace Disney canon with the EU. The EU will just be published alongside it. So, you know, they obviously can't publish, you know, 15, 20 books a year. It's, I mean, maybe they can, I don't know. But I, I would just go for maybe at least to start with six to eight books a year and maybe a couple of comic book series, stuff like that. Yeah, so... uh that, those are some of my ideas for uh, continuing the EU and, you know, why it should and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, there's there's something for everyone. It's, it's really enjoyable once you take the dive. Yes, it can be overwhelming, but that's okay. Just take your time and, you know, you don't need to get everything and read everything yeah so i i recommend it to basically everyone that's a star wars fan so yeah you can let me know what you think of uh some of these ideas in the comment section down below and how would you uh continue the eu if it were to have story new stories published and that what would you do you can let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.